Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we traveled from the floating parliament, up this unexplored area, and then back to London, discovering on the way Stonehenge, which was now an encounter in the newest Wayfair update, and also a weft of time right next to it that we went inside of. So, uh, my terror is super high, 67%, so the next thing I want to do is just take a quick Take a quick pop over to the most serene mausoleum. That's a weird expression. Because um, I think we can reduce our tear a lot there. I think it takes... Uh, I think it takes uncanny specimens. So we should be fine. As far as, like, items go. I'll take some common items just in case I end up needing them there. So we'll go there to reduce my tear. I think I can get a will of the people there as well. And then we're going to head over to the Clockwork Sun because we have two prospects for there. But first, let's get re-equipped. Hire on crew. Recruitment mission. We've got 14 out of 19. 18 out of 19 now. 80 sovereigns. Let's repair. What else is there to do? Oh, I th yeah, we have new prospects. This one's for the Royal Society. Do I want to go there? It's not that far. It is actually on the way to the Clockwork Sun. Yeah, maybe I should take everything with me to do all these prospects. And then just go to the Most Serene Mausoleum and the Royal Society and then the Sun. Without going back to London during any of that. That sounds good. Sure. Uh, do I have space for more prospects? One. I need two spaces, so I'm finally going to get rid of this special prospect. Uh, because there's a prospect here for the Royal Society. For three barrels of unseasoned hours, so I'm going to do that. Abandon this. Unfortunately, I never got to do it. And then there's also this for the Macabre Counselor at the Most Serene Mausoleum. So we're going to have prospects here, here, and here. It's going to be very lucrative. Also, I'm going to have very little space. So let's just throw everything in the bank. Maybe I should sell some of these eggs. I forgot what I got for it. Sell the egg. Oh, just 300 sovereigns? Nah. I think you get something more interesting for it in Eleutheria. If I remember right. But totally not worth it here. Got everything on board that I need for the prospects. They're all pretty small prospects. 3, 3, 3, and 5. Not for super high value stuff. But altogether, it'll be a nice profit. I feel like I often want a selection of Immaculate Souls on board as well. Like, I want to start carrying around, like, one of some general stuff that'll be good for random encounters. But I guess now's not the time, because I'm already so full of stuff. But when I go exploring, I think I'll take, like, an Immaculate Souls, and one, like, Chorister Nectar, a Barrel of Unseasoned Hours, just, like, a couple common things. Some munitions. Oh, I have fuel stored in here. Cool. Well, I guess I'll just fill up... Actually, let's not take that much fuel. Um, what can we get at these places again? Can we get everything? Fuel and supplies. Fuel and supplies, and this is just fuel. Yeah, so we can restock along the way. It doesn't particularly matter, as long as we have a pretty decent balance. Heading for the most serene mausoleum. I'll see you there, or at the first sign of trouble. Oh, hello, trouble. looking at the light. I'm just following the light. I can't actually see the damn ship. Yes! I love it when they show me their broadside. Unlicensed chart. Minister stamped permit. Taking a tiny, tiny bit of damage, but it's not worth going back to port for just three hit points. Rumors of mutiny. 
shit. A pistol has vanished from the armory. Knives are disappearing. The signs of insurrection. Hmm. Conduct an investigation. Find the parties responsible and dispose of them. 75% chance of success. Success. Under interrogation, a sallow stoker reveals where the pistol is hidden and who stole it. You seize the culprit and conduct a swift trial. The mutineer spits at you as you condemn her to the skies. Lost one crew. Yeah, don't try to do a mutiny. Have no patience for that. shooting on my part. Alright, strip it for pears. For pears? <laughs> strip it for pears. Get all the pears from this resurrectionist. No reason to do that, really. Only three points, hit points that I'm missing. Investigate the bodies. I think we've seen all the descriptions before. Gained a savage secret in two tales of terror. Hello, Mausoleum. Let's do the prospect first. Got another invitation to Perdurance. Yay. A little bit of money, too. Oh, they're selling for a bargain. Seven rolls of thirsty bombazine. That is worth a shit ton. I can't fit it all. I could dump one of my fuel or something. I'll probably be fine. It's such a short jaunt to the Royal Society. Anyway, we'll deal with that later. Attending a funeral. Mm -hmm. Attend a miser's funeral or a skyfarer's funeral. Uh, I don't remember what the skyfarer's funeral does. Maybe I'll do the miser's. Will that reduce my terror? Yeah. The attending priest drones soothingly as the few mourners chatter. They came in the hope of a last-minute display of generosity. They leave frustrated and disappointed, if not surprised. Oh yeah, the will of the people. Let's listen to it. I think that's the same description. Yeah, it's always the same description. Okay, I could try to pass another law at the parliament now. The memorial to the prince consort, that's where I should be able to reduce my terror. Significant, moderate, oh, immaculate souls. For the best, that's what I need for the best one. It's all right. Yeah, let's deliver the uncanny specimens. Gonna take three of them. From 76, that is so huge, down to 51. Nice. We've done that before, so I'm not gonna rate it. Let's do it again. 26%. And then let's get down 1% by paying three sovereigns a couple times, maybe. <laughs> yeah, cool. I don't think I want to use any more specimens. I only have... I only have five specimens. That's shockingly little. I'm running out of... Based on the picture, I'm running out of strange heads in little glass display cases. What else is there to do? No reason to search for the Dismal Chamberlain again just yet. Remember, my soul needs to be in a certain state to succeed at that. Mm, contemplate the dead sun. I think that gives me terror. Let's... Well, I'm only 22%. Let's do that. It's alright. 27%. Yeah, I get a vision of the heavens. That's alright. Do I have any business with the Deathless? I still don't have your daughter. I'm sorry. Oh, speak with the Luminous Cardinal. I haven't spoken with them before. 49% chance of success. He is the Papal Legate to the High Wilderness and Her Renewed Majesty's favorite Catholic. Success. 
The cardinal is unattended today as he walks through the sepulchral vaults of the mausoleum. His bright vestments trailing along the flagstones. He notices your gaze and approaches. A footman hurries over to facilitate conversation. His eminence is delighted to meet a skyfarer. He has many questions for you. For his new... Ex what does that word mean? Exegesis? Apparently it's pronounced exegesis. It's a critical explanation or interpretation of a text, especially of scripture. Exegesis. So how is it used? Uh, he has many questions for you for his new exegesis on the Bible. Genesis will need a considerable gloss in light of reason information. The reach, verdant as Eden, the celestial gates of the blue kingdom, the infernal splendor of Eleutheria, and so on. His curiosity quenched, he thanks you for your time and leaves you with a pater... A pater noster for your trouble. Soft laughter comes from a side altar. The ruffle of silk, a sudden giggle, the clatter of a falling reliquary. I've gained favor. And terror. I need three favor to accept an invitation to dine. Well... I'm not going to donate literature because then I wouldn't be able to complete the prospect, so I think we're done here. I'm just wondering if I should just take this bombazine straight back to London right now. It's so freaking valuable. Nah, I'm just going to buy as much as I can. Which is almost all of it. Or should I kick out a fuel? I'll kick out a fuel. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. And then, let's head on over to the Royal Society. Not going to cut this out just yet, because I'm going to go through this little unexplored avenue here. That sun... Looks like there's pretty clear sailing through this little spot here. A lot of... Asteroids? Would these be considered asteroids? I don't know, a lot of rocks up here. I guess it's kind of transforming into that craggy stuff, isn't it? Before we get to the green verdantness of the Royal Society proper. Nothing too exciting along here, just just a nice little pathway to get to the Royal Society. And a Dackety, hey! We've arrived at the Royal Society. Let's get the prospect out of the way. Three barrels of unseasoned hours. 465 profit. Hmm. Did the did the sun gather strength? I think it did. It went up by five. That's fine. And a carefully packed crate of munitions. Thank you. They have a bunch of tea. I think I'm doing pretty well on tea. Uh, oh yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's see if we uh, successfully completed the uh, the race to get into the Rochester Club. It's been less than a month, right? Remember when we got that like three months ago? Hey. Except defeat, you've been soundly thrashed. Everyone is very decent about it, really. Aside from the boisterous Harridan, Lord Rochester claps you on the shoulder. Not to worry, not to worry. You can always try again, you know. If you'd still like. We were very impressed with your gumption. Very impressed with my complete lack of caring at all? Sure. Where to next? Hmm, floating parliament. Okay. Hey, let me make a note right now. 
Okay, just wrote it down in my notes that we got the quest on the 18th of May. I forgot what else we could do here. There was so much before. Volunteering with a short-sighted professor. A short-sighted professor runs up to you at the docks. Where have you been? You're my new test subject, yes? Hurry up. Uh... <laughs> volunteer myself as a lab assistant or volunteer a crew member. This will get you a savage secret. There's no risk to your crew. Really? No risk? Hmm. Only 50% chance of success. But if it succeeds, it will reduce my terror. Okay. The professor directs you to a comfortable chair. Their smile is almost, but not quite, comforting. Oh. The professor's experiments are poorly thought out. You remove the electrical clamp from your tongue to offer a few suggestions, and before long are wearing a lab coat of your own. The expressions on the student roped in to replace you quickly confirm that you were right to wriggle out of being his test subject. Oh yes, yeah, we can donate all sorts of things that I don't want to donate. Those are all precious to me. Wander the gardens? Ah, right. It's been left to grow wild. 52% chance of success? Success? The gardens were an early attempt by the society to stamp their mark upon the sky. Uh, we've already seen that. Mm. You, however, are a ver veteran rambler. The ha-ha is no obstacle for your fearless tread. The folly is neither deceive nor to virtue from your path. You can tell from a mile off the bog is a bad idea. Okay, I remember reading this. We must have succeeded last time, too. You find yourself in a pleasant faux classical temple dedicated to the suns. Someone has left something behind. A miniature folding bureau. An unlicensed chart. Lifflow's president, anything to do with you? Oh, can I get a port report? Or do I already ha I think I already have one from here, yeah. Mmm. They want a port report from the Clockwork Sun. I mean, that'd be fine, because I'm just going to go get another one in just a minute anyway. So yeah, have it. The mellifluous president reads your report, rereads it, and then re-re-reads it, his expression darkening further each time. I see. He throws the report in the fire, dabs his forehead with a handkerchief, and retrieves a bottle of whiskey from his desk drawer. Oh dear, he says, pouring himself a generous helping. I suppose this evening I shall have to make a report of my own. You now have one. You have done the mellif mellifluous president a favor in the very recent past. So I've got some of the Royal Society's gratitude. Gain some strength of the sun. Didn't really want to, but okay. And a hundred sufferings. Mm. They also want a report from the House of Rods and Chains. and the An Another one from the Clockwork Sun? Can I just keep turning that in? I guess so. Yeah, they're just infinitely renewable. Maybe up to a point. Maybe once you do it enough, it'll trigger something. Once you have enough gratitude, they'll want you to do something bigger. Bid him goodbye. Cheerio. Attend a port reception. Oh, that reduced... Oh, I was able to do that because of the Royal Society's gratitude. That's why that never appeared before. It reduced my terror and I gained a sky story. Okay, well that's actually quite good. I mean, I desperately need things in Albion and Eldethirion. Basically anywhere but the Reach, I desperately need things to reduce my terror. The Newton Ballroom. A few odd captains mingle in the palatial ballroom with astronomers, engineers, and scientists. Conversation is stilted, but the cheese and biscuits are plentiful, as is the port. The mal mellifluous president attempts to tell jokes. Spirits improve when the careless deviless enters, carrying pilfered wines from the Rochester Club, accompanied by the inscribed tinkerer with a blistering home brew. You wake up alone in your cabin, surrounded by the remnants of what appears to have been a party. Someone has remodeled your sink to be more aerodynamic. <laughs> what? Your headache is unforgivable. It's the aerodynamic sink. I 
I think that's it. The Queen's Astronomers. Oh, God. Maybe that's not it. Observe the Clockwork Sun. I think that just gives you a short description and a little bit of terror. Cool. Deliver the chair in the effulgent science's permission to move the telescope. Oh, right. Right, they're my... My... I forgot the term. My mentor, I think? Yeah. Alright. So, we've seen that before. In fact, is anything different going to happen with that? Is the latest report from them going to be the same? Oh, this is actually a different discovery than the first one. Another discovery. This involves some tricky weft work and a very steady hand, but examining the constellations as I observed them from what might have been millennia ago, and comparing them with the placement of the rock on Polmere and Plenties was instructive. I've consulted geologically minded friends, but the theory that regions of the wilderness are bounded locuses must now be called into question. Incidentally, I'm having regrets regarding the absence of my own soul. <laughs> uh, not sure I can help with that. The Brock on Pulmere and Plenties, they must be talking about the obelisk, right? The theory that regions of the wilderness are bounded locuses must now be called into question. I don't entirely know what that means. Bounded locuses. Locuses is in like locations, right? Do they mean space is more fluid? It's not as if like one region is just within this space. It could bleed out to other areas. It's the only thing I can think of. Mm, yeah, so got to wait some time before we can do that again. Don't think there's anything more to do with the arsenal right now. Oh, I do have the carefully packed crate of munitions. The one that I got as a reward for a prospect. Uh, yeah, alright. You can have it. I have 13 experimental modifications. It's pretty good. Right. Well, off to the Clockwork Sun. Um, I can buy fuel there, but not supplies. So, I'm gonna get all supplies. Oh! The Rochester Club didn't see that. Let's see if we can get to the sun from over here. This unexplored area. I think that might be the only port. I think this is the only port I've seen that actually doesn't have an open space on both sides. That's why I never really think about that. I think every single other one is open on both sides, so it doesn't matter whether you go forwards or backwards or which way you're facing. Okay, there's something over there that's good. Good sign that there might be a pathway. Twisty and windy. Probably a time weft over there. Should I go there to that that thing? Nah, it's not that important.
can't say. Didn't mean to do that. The king's meat. Mm. Enter through the yawning tear in the hole. Supplies, munitions, unusual things, crew quarters. Uh, that's just sovereigns. Fuel. Well, fuel's not a problem. I'm about to buy a bunch more. Let's go to the captain's quarters. See what we find. Otherworldly artifact. go. Glass is starting to appear. A radiance in your windows. The bleached bone light of the clockwork sun. I really should equip my assaying stuff here. of the skies. Hmm. An irregularity in the galley. The table is neatly laid, but the plates are glued in place and the cutlery nailed down. The culprit is quickly discovered. When she tries... Discovered when she tries to nail the chief engineer's hat to the chief engineer's head. Everything has its place, she explains when she's dragged before you. Um. Issue an additional ration of brandy to the crew. 34 terror... 29. Yeah, we've seen that description before. Everything's loud with song and laughter. Obviously we've been here before, but I don't want to cut it out. This thing is just too... It's too epic and terrifying. Oh, this is... Uh, this is a bully's acre. How do I do this without getting terror? Pay my respects? A 60% chance? And if I fail, I probably gain terror plus have to fight a scribe? Nah. It's not worth it. We can go scavenging with the Dawn Rats again. Let's get rid of our prospects first. I don't know why I keep clicking on the hold. That's not how you do it. Enough tea to fuel the sun. Also got 200 experience and a ministry stamp permit. The literature is the one that I'm really curious about. Because I remember the steward mentioned don't... Specifically said don't give any more reading material to the crew... So, is that going to do something? Vision of the heavens, 150 experience, strength of the sun went up. I guess I should probably just go speak with the steward and see if anything changed. Uh, let's go scavenging with the dawn rats first. Supplies are fuel. Well, let's do supplies, they're worth more. 50% success. Got three supplies. Hours pass before your crew members return, laden with dusty parcels. The leader now walks with a limp. The dawn rat is not with them. Poor report. Azimuth, is that where the uh, sequencer is? Yes. So, let's go exploring in the Sun-Shattered Dome once again. Mm, 
you come upon what looks like a glittering gold carousel. Right, I remember that. I think we failed, but let's try it again. 65% chance. Once again, failure. Yeah, the whole Tempest Prognosticator thing. Suits damaged, gain 5 tear. Path blocked by a tangle of bleached white foliage. The Shalimar Garden. Right. Search elsewhere. Mm, there's a bad patch. 92% chance of success. Let's do it. Roll of Thirsty Bombazine. Yep, yeah, we've done that before. My suit probably can only take about one more hit before things get bad. Oh, Glass Congregation. Yeah, a gleaming forest of glass sculptures. As you get closer, you realize they were once tourists. From back when the exhibition was still open to the public. What were they clustered around? 77% chance of success. Pick your way through the glass congregation. Partial. The vitrified tourists are arranged in a circle. Whatever lies at the center must be worth a good gawk. It's a nightmare in the bulky hazard suit, but you duck and weave through the statues. Just as you're about to reach the middle, you realize that a tourist's pointing finger has snagged on your suit's outer rigging. Attempts to extricate yourself seem to succeed only in widening the rip. Hmm. Give up and go back. Shatter the tourist or tear yourself free. If I shatter the tourist, the flying glass might be perilous to my crew. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Give up and wrinkle back the way you came. Mm, there are splits at the seams. Sunlight seeps into your skin. Okay, it's time to go. Well, I gained a bit of terror and got a thirsty bombazine. Not really sure if that was worth it. Let's go to the Terpiscore Revolt and speak with the steward. No, same thing they said before. No more literature for the engineers. They need to focus on their sermons with the sequencer. And I think we talked with the sequencer before and nothing, uh, like nothing special. They couldn't, we couldn't do anything with them. Like, what's your role on the sun? Well, it's the same as it always used to be. Ask the sequencer what's wrong. That's the same as last time. Yeah, okay. I have an idea. Let's go counterclockwise down here to the floating parliament. Explore a bit here. And going pretty much, like almost straight there from the Royal Society. Which means I think we should be able to pretty easily meet the 30-day race. It was the 18th or the 19th, and it's only the 23rd right now. Yeah, let's do it. Got as much fuel as I can. Let's go. Bright Night Benefice. Time weft, probably, or something else. Seems like a beacon. 
Uh, disperse the rubble. I definitely want to do anything I can to lose tear. 45%. 40%. You gently shunt the larger pieces away. The crew are hardened to be doing something for the general good. Yeah, that one little light stands out so much. Another time weft. I hope. The thunder of industry has fallen silent here. Not all London's endeavors succeed. Wait, that sounds like it might be the storm that speaks, actually. Oh, yes. What? I know I could try to speak to the stones. I could try that again, see if I succeed. But most of all, they want ours, and I don't have any, do I? No. Let's not go there. Yeah, that's one of the things I want to start carrying in general, just like one thing of ours. Ooh, curator's egg. All right, I'll bite. Oh, uh oh. twisted. Yes! Oh. oh. Yeah, let's take a trophy. Substantially reduce your tear. 48%. Down to 23. Beautiful. And we got an uncanny specimen. Still a gross thing to do, but worth it. Get on board. Well, we could continue on this pathway where we've already been, but let's go closer to the edge of the world where it's unexplored. The outside is actually blocked by by stone. The stink of rust and scrap iron. Oh, hello. Seven out of one hundred and three. I'll, I'll be fine. 
Yeah, I'll be fine. Let's look at the hold. Unusual cargo, a marked box. Fragile contents do not shake, upend, or discommode. Otherworldly artifact. A set of golden scales slides out of the knife-opened box. It takes three of you to lift, six to carry. Lapis lazuli shines in the base. Complex diagrams of constellations circle the pans like the rings of planets. The Parliament sells supplies, but not fuel, by the way, so I'm not worried about scouting too much. There's an opening in the rock. I could try to go off the map if I wanted to. Let's get to the point where the map starts to, or the view starts to scroll off screen. That always is really disorienting. The skies ahead are vacant and dead. Let's not go there. Yeah, that is so disorienting. Because that's the only time the view is not perfectly fixed on the very center of your engine. Do you get stressed out when you think I'm going to hit something? Because you're wondering if I might not be paying attention? Like, do you get stressed out when I'm just like, oh yeah, this is fine, and then I just jet out of the way suddenly? I'm always paying attention. Oh! Except when I'm not paying attention to the orientation of my ship, my engine, and then I just fly fa- Wow, how'd you get over there? Just fly face first. Face first into the dock. God damn, you move fast. Didn't mean to shoot again. Bad idea. Oh no, I don't- I do not want to touch a guest, that's bad. <laughs> Fuck. They're challenging. Me to shoot double again, damn it. Oh man, they're so good at changing direction. Come on, come on. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, I thought for a second I didn't kill him. Okay, well, now my hole is hurt to hell. Yeah, I can collect a sample for the nature reserve and all sorts of stuff, but... Nah, let's uh, salvage scrap to repair my hole. It's only by a small amount, man. 41 to 50. That's not very much. That was indeed a small amount. Let's see what this treasure is down here. Oh, finally something I can actually do. Barrel of hours. I could just pop back over to the storm that speaks if I wanted to. I don't. Bing boing. 
bong, bing, bong. What did I have to do here? I know pass a law. Oh, right. Just coming here was uh, part of the race. I have till the 18th to get back, and it's the 1st of June. 18 days to get over there? I mean, it's a pretty far distance, but that shouldn't be that hard. People's Perpetual Protest. Enjoy a scone on the lawn. Reduce my tear by quite a lot, actually. Find the race marshal. Probably the same description as before. Oh, that also reduced my tear by a lot. Thank you for the pat on the back and the supplies. Observe the people's protest. Did that do anything? Uh, join it. Sky story. Visit my department. Make a new law. Let's not fail this time. What I've learned is don't do the same thing twice. Pick mm. mm. up dirt on arrival MP. I think we've pretty much read all of these at this point. So I have a tenth of parliamentary support. Scare the house with a tale of terror. A fifth of parliamentary support. Deliver a stirring speech in the house. A third of parliamentary support. Impress the house with my experience. Just under half support. This is where I always ended each one, but I think I can do another one now. Yes. Seek a celebrity backer? Good sob story? Uh... All right, good sob story, sure. Half of Parliament currently supports me. Okay. I think that's the best I'm going to do. 57% chance of success. Wow, so it really just doesn't get that high, does it? I failed all three laws that I've tried to make. Also, like, an entire week just passed because this entire process takes a week, so now I'm not sure if I can complete the race. <laughs> hmm. I am now transferred to the Empress's Space Registry. You know what I want to do? I just bought a couple supplies. Let's get as much of this bargain as I can. I want to try to win this race. I don't want to have to do it a third time. So I'm going to go straight from here to the Royal Society. I can probably make it. Because I'm not even going to stop back at London. Um, I guess I'll show you this first part because I'm going to go... Uh, well, let's see. I guess I'm going to go like... Probably about like that. To kind of shoot a little bit to the side of the clockwork sun, because I really don't want to go through that again. <laughs> Giving me all that terror. So I'm going to go explore this part as I go through it. Not going to fight anybody? They're going to try to fight me, but I don't care. I ain't got time for that. I got a race to win. That's not going to hit me, fool. Okay, you're getting kind of close for comfort. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no, no. I thought I was going to hit this. I thought this was a total dead end. But it's below me. Shit, actually, it is kind of a dead end. Uh, hmm. Wow. That's a mega dead end. Uh. I guess I'll... Hedge my bets and just keep going this way and hope there's a way to turn. Hi, still trying to kill me? Ten hole, nice. Oh, 
Ooh, I can mine that on the way. Ow. Wow, this is getting eventful. And, uh... This pathway is really not working out, but... Oh, what is this? I have no idea what that is. That'll be my fifth port report. For the, uh, signalman. Okay. Nice aim. They are persistent. I'll give them that. My god. I picked the worst possible way. There's no way through there. There actually hasn't, like, not a lot of time has even passed, to be honest. I'm not sure what my plan is here. Go to port and then, like, am I just ignoring the race now, or...? It just keeps rediscovering me. My god. Dear god, the fatalistic cyclone breathes as he takes to the extent of the work world. Takes in the extent of the work world. This is the Brapison work world. I have so much to do here. Okay, forget the race. Into the captain's cabin. Barrel of unseasoned hours. <laughs> the bit between. I like that as a name. It's a very practical, workman like kind of name. It's like, yeah, it's the bit between. Well, this is going to be a pretty big thing, I think, because I do have a lot to do here. So, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore the Brabazon workworld.